So you want to know how to prank? Today I'm with Evan and OTV from How To Magic. And today we're going to show you seven pranks you can pull in the kitchen. Please give this video a thumbs up. Oh man, you got to put a ton on there. Yeah, dude. I put a lot. Ah. Oh. It was for demonstration purposes. For this prank, get the chocolate milk that's in the fridge. Whoever in your house, or roommates, brothers, sisters, whoever drinks chocolate milk, you're gonna take all the chocolate milk and you're gonna serve it to all your friends that are hanging out. Okay, so now <laughs> the chocolate milk is empty and this is where the prank comes in. Get some buttermilk. This stuff is disgusting. It's so horrible. And you're gonna swap it out over the sink. Oh, you smell it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it smells so sour. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, that's just nasty. All right, let's do halfway buttermilk and then we're gonna put in some chocolate syrup. I feel bad just being a part of this. Oh my gosh, can you imagine the face? I mean, lots of chocolate syrup, man. Make it that color. All right, let's pour some more buttermilk. Oh, this stuff stinks, dude. So it nasty. Looks just like it, more chocolate. You're drinking this one. I really don't want to. Have a sip. Now, shake this baby up. So now you've replaced the chocolate milk with buttermilk and chocolate syrup. You put so it convincing. back in the fridge. It looks so convincing. It looks totally legit. Dude, don't spit it back in the cup. You just wasted that whole cup. Dude. That's horrible. Right, I want to try. That's so horrible. I want to try a sip for the viewers. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> it's like an instant reaction. Like you don't want it in your mouth immediately. It literally tastes like curdled milk, expired milk. Dude, try it. I'm actually really hungry too. It looks like a milkshake kind of. It looks like it could be good. <laughs> <laughs> kind of tastes like yogurt a little bit. I don't know, bro. What about a yogurt if you drink? Why did I just try this without even looking at it, like what you put in that? Just... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's disgusting. This is an easy, great prank to pull on anybody in your house who likes chocolate milk. Okay, for this prank, you're gonna switch somebody's favorite soda like Coke or Dr. Pepper with balsamic vinaigrette. Check it out. All right, so you're gonna open up your Coke or yeah. Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, whatever you've got. Pour out your soda. Now you're gonna take some balsamic vinaigrette dressing. This looks exactly like soda. It's super dark. And you're just gonna fill up the bottle with the dressing. Mm. Oh my gosh. I like it on salad, but that much at once is really, really off-putting. Oh man. <laughs> that works. That works, bro. So the trick with this one is, with the balsamic vinaigrette, it's oil and vinegar is going to separate. So the idea is you're at a barbecue, you're at your function or whatever's going on with your family and friends. You make the switch real quick and you go, here's that soda, bro. Appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, over here, over here, over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so salty. Finally, I get my favorite beverage. Okay, so this one is really simple. All you need is a plastic syringe. You're gonna fill this up with water, just like this. You're gonna conceal it in your hand so that your mark doesn't see it. And then you're gonna spray your victim right in the crotch. The best way is to distract them. So you get them to look at something, you spray them in the crotch. They don't even know it looks like they beat their pants and they'll walk around everyone's like. Just put this story up on Instagram. Let me know if you like it. How's it go? Dude, you like literally. <laughs> <laughs> How am I gonna walk around? I'm like literally red in the face right now. <laughs> Completely just missed the whole toilet. I even got it on my shirt. All right, so now there's a technique to this. When you're using the syringe, you don't want to just jam it as hard as you can, right? You just want to give a little bit of a little. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it, dude. Yeah, that way. Just real lightly, so jam it. This is a messy kitchen prank. You're gonna do this when someone has the apron. You can do this at, at the kitchen in your house, maybe a kitchen at work, if you're a waiter or something. Barbecue or, outside. Barbecue outside. When whoever's cooking takes the apron off, sets it down to go to the bathroom, that's when you come in with several eggs. Put those eggs, wrap them up somewhere in the apron, right? So now you set your prank booby trap when it comes back into the kitchen to put the apron on to get back to cooking and make a big mess. <gasps> Dude! Who's cleaning it up, baby? Obviously me. <laughs> For this prank, get some white ground pepper and a little pan. 
The idea is you're gonna put the pan right there on the stove, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna take this pepper, mm -hmm. put it right on top. Now, while everyone's in the kitchen hanging out, right, you wanna just go ahead and get this going. So now you'll have a little bit of the black pepper smoke coming out of this top. Are you making tear gas? Is that what this is? Yes. Like pepper spray gas? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this will work really well when like all the moms and aunts are in the kitchen and they're all talking and trying to like mess with them. Just put this in here and then let that kind of do its magic. You see how it's starting to smoke? Okay, this is where the magic comes. Whoa. You want to wait till it gets real smoky, and you can leave it this way for it to work like that. It'll start getting in the air, or what you can just lift you it all it up. In? You're going to cough, and your gonna, eyes are going to water, and you're going to be like, it's like pepper. Pepper spray. It's called pepper steam. So it looks like it's steaming up pretty good. Yeah, that's that's the good stuff. Oh. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> that's so strong. <laughs> It's like a pepper spray light. If you want to get them, <laughs> it really is. And it's good. It's great for the kitchen when your mom or your aunt, anybody, your sister's in there hanging out. Get like a big pot, fill it up with that white pepper. Let it sit there. And then while everyone's sitting there hanging out, you just lift it up and walk away. That's <laughs> so easy. This is the redneck pranks. What you're going to do is you're going to get some cayenne peppers, hot pepper. You get them in the spice cabinet at your house or a spice aisle at the store. And so when someone is kind of preoccupied in the kitchen, and you're running around, whatever, you're gonna pop this open, mm -hmm. and the whole goal is you're gonna put some on the back of their neck, where they won't feel it. A little pinch. Yeah, see, I don't even feel that. I don't even know it's on there. Right, you got whatever he doesn't know. Now the whole idea with the cayenne pepper prank, that's already starting to work, because I, no, <laughs> I have no hair. I'm already sweating right now, and uh, I can feel the powder that was being sprinkled in the back of my head right now. So the cayenne pepper seeps into your pores and burn. slowly starts to burn. It makes your neck feel like it's on fire. It turns your neck red. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're gonna have your guys, whoever got hit with it, start feeling like this burning sensation. And well, why, why is my neck burning? Did something steam me for something? No, 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 it's totally it's normal. normal. It's starting to get hot right now. Uh, oh, dude, it's starting to burn. Take that? Oh, bro, this is getting really Hot. <laughs> is it getting bad? No, it's getting really hot. <laughs> feels like I'm like, next, I'm fire. It's like the worst because now, when, even when you wash it off, it sticks around for like oh, yeah. 20 minutes. It literally it's feels like, like your pores, yeah. a hot. It's like icy hot? Oh man, you gotta put a ton on there. Yeah, dude. I put a lot. Oh. It was for demonstration purposes. If you work in like a kitchen at a restaurant, this is a great one to do your co-workers. I feel like everybody's got like cayenne pepper around the kitchen. That feels so good. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo, it's not stopping. <laughs> put milk on it maybe? Like when you eat hot peppers, you drink milk? Yeah, that would work. I've never tried that before. It's so hot. It's just getting hotter. It's not even cooling down. Like it's going through my neck to my vertebrae. All right, for this prank, you're gonna get my snake. You're gonna set it up right in a cabinet where like all the dishwasher soap is, where they put all the dishwasher stuff. And you're gonna set it up right for the door to open out. So you're just gonna tape it to the door in several locations, make sure it's you don't want the snake to have much slack. You want it to be real tight so the whole entire snake goes with the door when it opens. So your mom, your dad, and whoever does the dishes will open the cabinet door and freak out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to emphasize on not giving it too much slack. You want it to be real tight because you want the entire snake to come out. If you give it slack, they're going to open it up and it's just going to hang like this. You don't want that, right? You want it to be where it comes out like that, right to their feet. It scares the crap out of them. You can put this anywhere. It's just the most popular cabinets are the best spot for them. Right, for this prank, you're gonna take all the knives in the kitchen, all of them, and you're gonna just put them in a pan. Then you take this pan and fill it up with water, and then carefully transport it to the freezer. Wait overnight till it freezes, and whoever goes into the kitchen looking for the knives, just tell them look in the freezer. I'll pull out this big giant ice block of knives. How are they gonna get into this thing? Look at this. Oh, look at all those knives. How are they gonna use them? Here, you want a knife? Good luck cutting your steak with that. Just like the knives, another prank you can do is get all the kitchen towels wet. Just make them all soaking wet and put them inside of a bag. Same concept, put these guys right in the freezer, wait overnight, and then they will have nothing to dry the plates with if they need a towel. It's 
it's frozen. Tell them to look in the freezer. This prank is a spicy one. What you're gonna do is get some habanero sauce. This stuff is so hot, okay? So be very cautious when you use the habanero sauce. It's a spicy pepper. What you're gonna do is take a Q-tip, soak it in this habanero sauce, and what you're gonna do is line it up on the rim of somebody's drink. Preferably one that's not glass, because you don't want them to see the sauce or any kind of line. So like a protein shake cup is really good. Oh boy, it doesn't take much. It does not take much. So now it's ready. Whoever takes a sip from this is gonna have some hot lips. Ooh. Let us know which one of these pranks is your favorite in the comments below and then go over to Evan Era TV's channel links in the description where we show you seven magic tricks kids can do. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And also make sure you guys check out behind the scenes to these videos. The links are in the description. My vlog channel, his vlog channel, Lim Inspired, Shock the World. See you next time.